Hello students, welcome back. The question is from gate 2005 exam and is from the topic of time division multiplexing. This one is for two marks. Have a look at the statement. They are saying in a TDM medium access control bus LAN, each station is assigned one time slot per cycle for transmission. Assume that the length of each time slot is the time to transmit 100 bits plus the end to end propagation delay. Assume a propagation speed of 2 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second. The length of LAN is 1 kilometer with a bandwidth of 10 Mbps. The maximum number of stations that can be allowed in the LAN so that the throughput of each station is 2 divided by 3 Mbps is. Okay, so they are talking about time division multiplexing. Okay. In time division multiplexing, n number of stations share a common channel. So we divide time into slots and one slot is assigned to one station. Now each station can send some fixed amount of data in its own time slot. Okay. They are saying length of each time slot is time to transmit 100 bits. That means that fixed amount of data is 100 bits for this question. So the fixed packet size or data unit is 100 bits. Each station can send only 100 bits in one time slot plus the end to end propagation delay. Now this is okay that we give time to a station to send 100 bits because data unit is decided to be 100 bits. But why are we waiting for this much time? Let us see. Suppose this is the timeline. So you have divided time into slots. This is one slot. This is the other slot, this is the next slot and so on. Now in each slot, you are giving some time to a station to transmit its data. Then we are waiting for end to end propagation delay. That means TP, propagation delay, this is transmission delay. We are waiting for TP time because we want to avoid any kind of collisions. See. In this much time, the station is actively putting data bits onto the channel. At this time, at this point of time, the last bit of data is put onto the channel by some station. Okay. But we need to wait for some time to just see that last bit of data gets out of the channel. Okay. So we are waiting so that collisions are avoided. Here, the next station is going to send its data. So there is a possibility of collision. That is the reason we wait for this time. Now next station is given some time to transmit its data. Again, we are waiting for TP time so that its last bit also gets out of the channel. Similarly, you'll have TT plus TP here also. Now what is the efficiency in this case? Efficiency will be cycle time, sorry, Useful time divided by the cycle time. Useful time is TT. Cycle time is TT plus TP. How is the cycle time? Because we are repeating this over and again. Okay, so TT plus TP is being repeated again and again. So the cycle time is TT plus TP. Out of this, a station is actively sending data only for this much time. That means the time required for transmission. So useful time is TT. Okay. Now let us find out what will be the efficiency for this question. They are saying that bandwidth is 10 Mbps and length of the packet is 100 bits. Let us find out TT. So is this visible? Okay, let's write here. Transmission time will be length of packet that is 100 bits divided by bandwidth which is 10 Mbps. So the value of M in case of bandwidth is always 10 raised to the power 6. Don't write it in terms of 2 raised to the power. Okay, be careful. So bits and bits will get cancelled and you can see per second can be written in numerator. So this becomes 100 divided by 10 which is 10 
into second divided by 10 raised to the power 6. This can be written as microsecond. Okay. So, 1 second divided by 10 raised to the power 6 is 1 microsecond. Now, let us also find propagation delay. So, I am finding it here. Tp will be distance between two nodes divided by signal speed. So, distance or the length of LAN is 1 kilometer. Divided by signal speed is 2 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second. You can see this is in kilometers, this one is in meters. So, I need to make the units equal. So, I am multiplying it by 1000 to convert distance into meters. Now, here we need to consider the maximum propagation delay. Okay. It is a possibility that station that is on this end of channel is trying to send data to the other end of the channel. So, in this case, last bit will take the highest time to get out of the channel or to reach the receiver. Okay. That is the reason if maximum possible length is 1 kilometer, we are considering that distance only. Okay. Because in each slot, we'll wait for the fixed amount of time. That is the maximum propagation delay possible. So, anyways, let's move ahead. This will be 10 divided by 2 into 10 raised to the power 6 seconds. 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 1 second divided by 10 raised to the power 6 is microsecond. Okay, so this is 5 microsecond. See, two zeros are cancelled from here. So this will be 10 raised to the power 6 and 10 raised to the power 6 is in denominator. So that can be written as 1 micro. This is 1 microsecond. Okay, I hope these values are clear. So let me just substitute it. 10, so 10 divided by 10 plus 5 is 15. This comes out to be 2 by 3. Okay. Now this 2 by 3 is the efficiency of entire network. Okay. How many ever nodes we are having? All those combinedly form a network. Efficiency of that network is 2 by 3. Okay. Now let us just find throughput of this network. Throughput is defined as efficiency into bandwidth. So efficiency of network is 2 by 3. Throughput of this network will be throughput of network. It will be efficiency into bandwidth. Efficiency is 2 by 3. Bandwidth is 10 Mbps. So it comes out to be 20 Mbps. Sorry, 20 by 3 Mbps. Now they were asking what is the maximum number of nodes possible if throughput of each node has to be 2 by 3. We know that throughput of entire network is 20 by 3. See, suppose an entire network you are having x nodes. In entire network you have a total of x nodes. Their throughput combinedly is 20 by 3 because throughput of network means throughput of all the nodes. It is 20 by 3 and throughput of each node has to be 2 by 3. So what is the value of x? It's clearly 10. Okay, we can have 10 nodes. Okay, let me explain it in a bit more detail. Maybe some of you might get confused. So throughput of each node has to be 2 by 3 according to the question. Okay. Throughput of each node is 2 by 3. We are assuming that there are total x nodes. What will be the total throughput? It will be 2 by 3 into x. Okay, so this is the total throughput of all the nodes. That means throughput of the network. Okay, so 20, MB, 20 by 3 Mbps will be equal to this value. From here you can see the value of x will be 10. Okay. 2 by 3 and 2 by 3 will get cancelled. Mbps will get cancelled with Mbps. I have forgotten to write the unit here, but it is also Mbps. In question only they are saying 
that throughput must be 2 by 3 Mbps for every node. Okay, so answer to this question is 10. We can have a maximum of 10 nodes. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a good day.